The water rises and swallows all in its path doesn't come solely from the rains. Because of global warming, another danger is emerging, very much destructive. Each year, in the North Pole, there is an accelerated melting of ice pack. A generalized font, all over Greenland, so almost every point in Greenland, even those at an altitude of 2,000 or 3,000 meters, have melted. There are big pieces that break off and form huge icebergs, melt and provide fresh water. That is why we are witnessing a rapid rise in sea level. It's likely to get worse. When it comes to rising sea levels, one of the unknown factors is the behavior of Greenland and Antarctica in a context of global warming. The water rises inexorably. You don't realize it with the eyes, but the sea is gaining ground. It is undeniable. In the latest IPCC report, rising water levels, according to scientists, is believed that in the worst case scenario, if we continue to emit as many greenhouse gases as we do today, by the end of the century, the oceans could rise by one meter. One meter is huge. If you are told that it increases by two or three millimeters annually, you won't see the difference when you go to your usual beach. One meter will gain approximately 10 meters inland. Now it's becoming sensitive. The problem is that this rise in sea level will continue no matter what we do. The greater the warming, the higher the sea level will rise. The problem is that water is endangering the destiny of millions of citizens who have spent their whole lives by the ocean. When you think that there are 600 or 800 million people who live near the water, so at a height of 50 centimeters, compared to the water level, it will cause a lot of human damage. In regions like Bangladesh, which are very dense and very close to ocean level, this could cause massive population displacements. In areas that are already very tense politically, these population displacements are likely to cause political crises, as is the case in Europe with migratory pressure at our borders. When you see cities like Jakarta, where we talk about displacement, there are over 10 million inhabitants now. Relocating people, it seems unthinkable, and yet, it's already the case in France. We are in 1967, in Soulex sur mer in Gironde. A building called Le Signal is erect 200 meters from the edge of the ocean. Four floors, 78 apartments, and breathtaking views of the coast. A paradisiacal residence, which with global warming will however become a real hell. 50 years later, unbelievable, the water has gone nearly 190 meters, so much so that residents are worried. I have been a homeowner for about 15 years. Last year, it was five meters taller than the limit we have there now. It was 200 meters away about 20 years ago. Are you worried now or not? Very worried. I was one of the only optimists, but today I am becoming pessimistic. The residence list signal saw the sea come very close in a few decades. The sea was getting closer to land by the day, and it was so yearly to the point of completely invading the building. Unfortunately, every year, the work is limited to putting in sand. But putting in sand to prevent water from rising didn't help. Inexorably, year after year, the water is rising right before the powerless residents. It's getting worrisome for the building that's there. Something has to be done. Because we keep talking, but it's time to do. 
something concrete. This building has been evacuated. Besides, no one has the right to live there anymore. There is indeed a risk that this building will collapse. Today, the ocean is only 9 meters away from the Les Signal residence. The danger is not only looming in Girondi,